see the invisible. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 13 to 16. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better that is a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. The writer of Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 11 having just narrated the incident of uh, Abraham and Sarah and uh, their whole uh, company of people, how they came out of the land that they occupied and, and they moved to a land that God would later give to them as an inheritance. He tells us something about how they made this journey. He says that they saw them afar off. That means what was yet invisible to them, what was yet unseen to them, they saw those things. They saw the invisible. They were assured of them, they embraced them, and they confessed in line with what God had spoken to them. So they saw the invisible, they embraced it in their hearts, they were assured of them, they were convinced of what God was doing, And they even confessed their speech, their declarations were in agreement with what God was doing and where God was taking them. Even though all of this at that moment in their journey was still in the invisible realm. It was still afar off. It was still something they couldn't see with their natural eyes. It was something that they were not there yet. But inside them, they saw it, they were assured of it, They embraced it and they confessed it. Now, this is how you and I must journey into new territory. This is how you and I must journey into new ground. This is how you and I must move into our destiny. As God leads us, there are times when we have to get up and go out from what we are comfortable with. We need to uh, journey by faith. We need to advance boldly. And we also need to see the invisible. That means we are not yet there yet, but inside of us, we have a picture. Inside of us, we have the assurance. Inside of us, we have embraced this wholeheartedly. And when we speak of it, we declare it, we confess it, we talk about it as though it is real because God has spoken about it to us. Even though we can't see it yet, even though we ourselves are not there yet. We are looking at it from afar, but this is how we make our journey. This is how these people of faith journeyed into their destiny. This is how you and I journey into our destiny. See the invisible. Be assured of it. Embrace it. Confess it. Declare it. Talk about it. Because God is leading you into new territory. God is enabling you to take new ground. God is leading you into your destiny. See the invisible. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, even as you lead us into new ground, into new territory, into our destiny, help us to see it with the eyes of faith, to be assured of it, to embrace it wholeheartedly, and to confess it and declare it, Lord, as though it was real and now already there. Because we know that you are the God who has given us the promise, and we are journeying with you into that. Help us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.